Please be seated. Good late afternoon, everyone. It is with uh, such honor and pleasure to be here today to uh, share in this amazing celebration of love, this marriage. I've met Joe recently, but I have known Kristen since she was knee high to a grasshopper. That's about right. Still am. Still are. <laughs> So I'm honored and privileged to be here. And on behalf of them, I want to thank all of you for coming, friends, family, for being here to share in this beautiful celebration of love. And not only those who are here, but also to remember those who were not able to be here, but who are sending their love and support. And certainly those also who are here in spirit that surround this couple and this gathering with love. Are we doing the photos with the family or are you all done? We got to do the photos with the family. What's that? We got to do the photos with the family. Little Make the announcement. <laughs> Thank you. And now a word from our sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> Those of you in the idiot family, if your name is Frady, Millette, Carson, Gauthier, Johnson, Boeing, or Grant, please, as you're ushering out, um, Kelly, who is somewhere, will be gathering people for some family photos. So please um, try to keep that in your mind. So friends, before we begin, I just, uh, I know the sun is shining and there's warmth around us, but I just want you all to take a deep breath and to look around and particularly Joe and Kristen, to look around at those who are gathered, to really take in this moment Taking the smells and the sa and the waves, lots of waves, the smells and the sounds and the waves, and the beauty of this time. Take another deep breath and make sure your body, mind, and spirit are settled in your shoes or your pumps, I'm assuming. One of the wonderful things that I've learned about this couple is first and foremost, they are best friends. They have discovered that together, life is better with each other. They have the support of each other to become more than they could be on their own, to be the best that they can be. Best friends and each other's number one fan. Let me begin by a poem. It is a poem that for them shares what it means to be a couple. Marry your best friend. I do not say that lightly, really, truly. Find the strongest, happiest friendship in the person you fall in love with. Someone who speaks highly of you someone you can laugh with, the kind of laughs that make your belly ache and your nose snort, the embarrassing, earnest, healing kind of laughs. Wit is important. Life is too short not to love somebody who lets you be a fool with them. But make sure they are someone who lets you cry too. Despair may come, Find someone that you want to be there with you through those times. Most importantly, marry the one who makes passion, love, and madness combine the course through you. A love that will never dilute, even when the waters get deep. And now, Joe and Kristen, share your intentions for this event. Joe, Kristen, after five years and eight months, 
to you on this amazingly sunny and momentous occasion, freely and without a doubt intend to marry one another as best friends and partners for life, together always, even when the waters get deep. If so, say we do. We do. We do. And now for those of you who are gathered, please rise if you are able. Those of you who are gathered, do you celebrate this marriage that is about to take place? And do you commit to support Joe and Kristen in the days ahead as they live out their vows to one another and more so when the waters get deep? If so, say, we do. We do. Please be seated. <laughs> and now a poem by Bill. <laughs> I mean, a, a poem read by Bill. <laughs> I <hate the> credit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Bill wrote this. A poem read by Bill. <laughs> Thank you. You said, yeah, yeah, come on yeah, up. It's fine. Good. Everything I Know About Love by Dolly Alderton. I know that love can be loud and jubilant. It can be dancing in the swampy mud and the pouring rain at a festival and shouting, you are amazing, over the band. It's introducing them to your colleagues at a work event and basking in pride as they make people laugh and make you look lovable just by being loved by them. It's laughing until you wheeze. It's waking up in a country neither of you has been in before. It's skinny dipping at dawn. It's walking along the street together on a Saturday night and feeling like an entire city is yours. It's a big, beautiful force of nature. I also know that love is a pretty quiet thing. It's lying on the sofa together, drinking coffee, talking about where you're going to go that morning to drink more coffee. <laughs> it's folding down pages of books you think they'd find interesting. It's hanging up their laundry when they leave the house, having forgotten to take it out of the washing machine. It's saying, you're safer here than in a car, as they hyperventilate on a flight over the Atlantic. <laughs> it's the, good morning, and have a great day, post-it notes on the bathroom mirror. I know that love happens under the splendor of moon and stars and fireworks and sunsets, but it also happens when you're lying on a blow-up air mattress in a childhood bedroom, standing in line for a passport, or in a traffic jam. Love is a quiet, reassuring, relaxing, puttering, harmonious hum of a thing. Something you know is always there, with its palms outstretched beneath you, in case you fall. Congratulations, guys. Thanks. <laughs> Nobody's watching. <laughs> and another reading from Beginning to End by Robert Fulcrum. An excerpt. All those conversations were held riding in a car or over a meal or during long walks. All those sentences that began with, when we're married, and continued with I will and you will and we will, and those late night talks that included someday and somehow and maybe and all those promises that were unspoken matters of the heart. All these things and more are the real process of a wedding. The symbolic vows that you are about to make are a way of saying to one another, you know all these things that we promised and hoped for and dreamed? Well, I meant every word of it. Look at one another and remember this moment in time. <laughs> we'll never now, forget that. <laughs> are you ready to share your vows with one another? Yes. Let's do it. Oh, I get to go first. Hi. We finally made it. After all the years of talking about this, all the planning, the late nights, fluttered rooms, tears and laughter, we're finally here. I feel like every single sign in this place should just have a little asterisk next to it that says, 
This wedding brought to you by Kristen Frady. Because without you, there's just, just no way. It's, it's perfect. It's, it's amazing. And I'm so grateful for you, all the hard work you've put into this. To me, the start of all this was when one random morning, after I stayed over in Portsmouth, he rolled over to me and looked at me so intensely and said, don't freak out. So naturally, I started freaking out. But the next thing you said was, I love you. And the panic turned to joy and excitement as I said, I love you back. I'll never forget that moment. Every day I think about how lucky I am to be loved by someone who allows me to be my authentic self. I can sing badly, laugh loudly, and cry at Queer Eye with you on the couch. <laughs> I can be vulnerable, impatient, silly, sappy, disorganized. I can be all those things and everything else it means to be me and know that you'll still love me. And it's not just how you treat me. I see the way you treat others around you, the joy and meaning you bring to other people's lives who sometimes you barely even know, and the happiness and fulfillment that it brings you to do that. You live your life in a way that I admire and aspire to. I'm impressed by you more and more every day. I can't wait to continue traveling the world with you, obsessively making plans leading up to those weekends and weeks, filling up our schedules with family and friends and adventures. I love that we find happiness in the same things. Kristen, you are my joy, my motivation, my favorite food critic, the best travel companion, and my best friend. Even though we're coming up to six years together, we're still just at the beginning. And while I'm looking forward to so many exciting new things to come in our lives, I'm going to savor every minute with you leading up to those moments. Kristen Brady, I love you. On our first date, but not a real first date, the first friend date, I took a picture of you climbing the rocks to have as a memory, just in case we'd be here in this very moment, someday getting married in front of our family and friends. Because I knew, and I think that you did too, that we were instantly connected to one another. When Nana introduced us, she told me that you had a spark in your eye and a passion for life that she saw in me too. I didn't understand it then, but I understand it now. And I owe so much to her for seeing that same light in me that you have. In five and a half years, we've built a life together, filled with adventures, travel, and joy. We've laughed and triumphed. We've done the good luck positive energy dance so many times it's no longer crazy, but today we proved it's still crazy. <laughs> In five and a half years, your family has become my family your heartbreak has been my heartbreak, and your victories are my greatest prides. You live each day with humor and an energy and passion for life that is contagious. You've taught me so much about the world and myself. You see the best in people and remind me of all the good that there is. People don't need saving, but they do need reminding. And like so many people here, every time I lose myself, it's you who brings us back to ourselves. With love and encouragement, you constantly remind me of my own potential and power, and for that, I am forever grateful. I am truly better because of you. Today is the day I make commitments to all the things I will continue to do, because our relationship didn't start today. It started six years ago. I will continue to love and care for your family as if they were my own, because they are. I will continue to find the balance of time alone and together, to travel the world near and far with you as long as there's something you can eat, <laughs> <laughs> to do the good luck dance when we make a big decision, to support your crazy dinner ideas and give you constructive feedback, <laughs> to remind you to bring your backpack and help you find things when you lose them. I will continue to encourage you, support you, and cheer you on, to laugh with you and cry with you, and to love you with all that I have, all that I am, and all that I will be. Thank you for the person that you are and all that you bring to the world and our relationship. I cannot wait to spend the rest of my life with you by my side and see all the places we'll go and what we've accomplished together. 
That's it. That's... Everybody take a deep breath. Whew. <clears throat> I think we all want to marry you both. <laughs> <laughs> They're taken right now, but <laughs> such a feeling of love and support and, and the tears speak to uh, the commitment and that deep sense of love that people feel in your words. And now Joe and Kristen, let us uh, exchange the rings that will be a symbol of this love that you share today. I want that baggie back. <laughs> Give it back to her. As I hold this ring, I just invite all the wonderful powers of love, the universal spirit of peace, of connection, of wholeness, of compassion. I call upon all the love and the support and the care that is surrounding you right now. And may they, may all this rest in these rings so that they are not only a reminder of who you are and what is shared today, but of all who love you and surround you on this occasion. With this ring. With this ring. I join my life to yours. I join my life to yours. As your husband. As your husband. I offer you all that I have. I offer you all that I have. All that I am. All that I am. And all that I will be. And all that I will be. He stole it from my thing. <laughs> With this ring. With this ring. I join my life to yours. I join my life to yours. As your wife. As your wife. I offer you all that I have. I offer you all that I have. All that I am. All that I am. And all that I will be. And all that I will be. Good. Now you will feel no rain, for each of you will be shelter to the other. Now you will feel no cold, for each of you will be warmth to the other. Now there is no more loneliness, for each of you will be companion to each other. Best friends, now and always. And now, friends, by the powers vested in me by the Commonwealth of Massachusetts and the United Church of Christ, Joe and Kristen, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may seal it with a kiss.